And we're live! Mm. Woo! So, um, Chiz, you're still muted. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you muted yourself. I, can't log Twitch. I don't understand. You can't log into Twitch? <laughs> yeah, my Twitch is broken. Oh, way to go. So he can't even watch our, our live podcast. Our second in oh, a row. Dang. Or not second in a row. Is this second in a row? No. Yeah, is second it? live one in a row. Oh yeah, it is in a row. I couldn't remember if it was last week or the week before. Ah, <laughs> what is it? Is it the same week? I don't even know. Who knows? Uh, yeah, who, who, so who it's one thirty-two, anyway? if I'm not mistaken. Podcast one thirty-two. It is indeed. I didn't change the name. I will fix that right now. Don't don't mess with it, Chiz, because last time you messed with it, it screwed everything up. Don't worry about it. I'm still currently logged into Twitch as us, so I'm okay. not touching it. Podcast one thirty-two. I wonder if I can log in with Facebook. Fuck! God okay, damn these, it. Are, these are the technical issues that happen when we do a yes. live stream of a podcast that comes out the day after. Uh, Alright, it says podcast 132 now on the, on the thing. Uh, Alright. Uh, and I changed the category, changed the description, so everything should be good! <laughs> yeah, it's true! Alright, uh, immaterial uh, podcast uh, 132. God, I miss podcasting with you guys. How's it going? Yeah, it's been it's a while. Great. Meh. Hi. I am monitoring the chat, so if you guys aren't able to take a look at it, I've got it pretty good. So, yes. Yeah, no worries. So, um, go ahead, just. Oh, no, I just completely lost what I was saying. I was just more on the idea of I understood that we've got chat. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So We also have Steph in there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's, there's quite a few of us. So Terry, who's who's hosting it on the stream today, and my camera's stream. working. Son of a yeah, bitch. yeah. That was the thing. We we had that prepped up beforehand. Right, we were trying to sort it. out Terry's camera and noticing that he was basically out. stuck in the matrix. He was sort of glitching out, so his camera was slowing down for a few frames, and then it caught up with where he was then at. So sometimes when Terry was moving around his camera shot, it just looked like he was glitching from one corner of the screen to the next. I'm not quite that fast, but I can try. Yeah, well, no, it, it sort of happened. Oh, look, we've just, uh, just as a confirmation that we're uh, live, I've just got the notification from Twitch that we're live. So, yeah. If, if we're not live, that's a problem. See, yeah. I don't get them anymore. I do. Actually, I don't because I just reset my phone and I haven't installed Twitch yet, but I will my be soon. My God, I have the so, power. So, I do have my phone set up with the chat just in case because I'm on Perfect. my own personal account with that one. So. Oh, Duncan's on too. All right. Yeah, so, I am so, uh, here. I'm here so, now. So, <laughs> so how's everyone's week then? Who do we want to start with? Uh, first? I I don't. It's been start with Duncan. My life, my life has been going too fast. I am too busy. I, it feels like literally it was like a day ago that I so, was on a podcast. So Duncan's <laughs> getting old, from what he just said. Hell yeah! Because that's yeah. the way life works. Well, um, I've I've crested the twenty five. Uh, you know, that's supposed to be the peak, you know? It's supposed to be like, this is the part where it starts to go. Wait, uh, that means I'm already on the way down? Damn it! Oh, dude, you've, don't, don't you've been on the decline for years. Like, you're oh. fucked. You're <laughs> fucked. You're, look, al look, you're almost as bad off as Ryan at this point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, as the oldest person, you know, on the podcast at the moment, it's, yeah. I've been, all I've, I've been getting games. to the point of, of just, you know, just being getting to the point of. Aren't you just the oldest in general? No matter just the podcast. Yep. Yeah, just in general, on the whole planet, everyone yeah, has yeah. ever been alive. Yeah, number number. Yeah, I'm number one. Number two. Kids these you know. days playing with tablets. Ryan remembers when he still had a chisel. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah Ryan fine. remembers when tablets were made of rock. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, a man, a man, a man came down from a mountain. He had a he had a tablet and it had some instructions. T was <laughs> it um two tablets, <laughs> five rules on each? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, but no, no, no. My son, I was decided to be grudgingly old today. There was a TV program on this evening called Garden Rescue, and don't, don't, don't get me started on it. It's a gardening show. A couple of teams they do shit, mm -hmm. and try and build a garden at the request of a couple or family or someone. Um, but the guy who was introducing it said, "Ah, oh, there we go. So we got these two lovely people. He's twenty-five and she's twenty-four, and uh, they, you know, it's a, it was a childhood romance." And I just sit there and immediately go, "Fuck off!" It just <laughs> lit <laughs> it just literally got out of nappies. How, how was that childhood romance? 
So maybe give them another five years at least. You know, well, what, they, what, you know. what you don't know is while they were in each, while they were in their parents' wombs, they met each other already. Uh, no food that whole. That's uh, that's a totally different topic, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, terms, terms, terms of service, terms of service. We have to think about this now because what, we don't you have, have Tinder. The... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll swipe left on that conversation and. Uh... <laughs> Well, we do have the option to edit that out if we need to, because I am recording as well. Yeah, uh, so we got but... yeah we got local recordings and all that. So, um, Steph D, your weeks? You said so so. Other than other than other than bodily issue. I have just well... accepted Stefan's two month old friend request. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everyone to know that. I'm yeah, quick. I can't send you a friend re- oh. friend request right now, or else. I uh, will have to log out of this switch. Yeah, which you know, sort of rings rings up, and and uh, yeah, for me, uh, busy, very rotty for me. Yeah, between between work and the the fantasy league, and trying to one up myself on the cold opens, which is going to get more and more difficult. And learning the kazoo. Wait, what? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, learning. He doesn't the, learning need to the learn kazoo. the kazoo. He needs to play better on the kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, his first try. (laughs) His first day of lessons on the live stream. Yeah, but considering, like I say, for the Fantasy League, we're following the the LEC and um, part of their hype video for the big age-old rivalry between two of the teams is that they did a music video in the style of a My Chemical Romance slash Bullet for My Valentine slash other sort of Metal. Like style metal emo band. Um, I'm an I'm emo kid. My, not I'm sort of as taking can it be. upon myself to to try and do a kazoo cover. That's gonna be fun. Uh, of of just the chorus. I'm not not mental. You gotta do the whole two and a half minutes song. Twenty-five seconds. I, I can provide you with the head banging. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Duncan. Uh, I you missed the days I had hair to do that. Us. Wait, I can do it with the beard now. Oh yeah, well that's, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's I want to see you do that. Banging. That's it's not heavy Speaking enough. That, I was also involved in a hair trimming accident, uh, and I've lost all my long hair. And I was going to say, did the hair? The I was going to say, did the hair trimming accident happen all over your face because you lost everything? <laughs> it's like, yeah. which part of this was the accident and which was intentional? Uh... <laughs> mm? Mm. Okay, so the bottom uh, was the accident. Right. Got it. That was that was yeah. some grunting. I. I... Yeah, that was maybe, intentional. Maybe, 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 maybe he is old. Maybe he's, maybe he's like actually like a. He's seen now. Oh, oh, well, oh, well, think oh, of, think oh. of it this way: it was getting to the point. You want to say about old? By the time the long ass beard was happening, you could see bits that started to go from the ginger greatness to like blonde, heading to grey. That's okay. You can't really see in this, but like, there's like three colors in my beard. It, it just, it's not one color. It looks one color in the camera. But it goes oh, like I wish weird I was light. A punk rocker with three colors in my beard. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it got to the point where if I come on now without a shaved beard, or if I come on with like no beard, Duncan immediately gets like Vietnam style flashbacks onto that one time I put the beardless filter on my face. Yeah, well, that's okay. At least you have your glasses on now. The, the time that you took your glasses off. Uh oh. Everybody, watch out! It's the serial oh, killer, geez. Ryan! Oh God! It's actually look like at him. Say, what he looks like. He should be. He should be in prison. Not, I, not I, for murdering. Just, just in general, just be in prison. Oh, I have God. another You're idea of Ponzi what he looks team. like. I have another idea of what he looks like, but I'll let him know after the podcast because uh, in terms of service. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I have filtered myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So um, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. Um, so I. Just gonna, just gonna, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just move on from the awkward conversations. I'm just gonna put my piece on the table. Do you remember a few weeks back, Duncan? We were talking about Final Fantasy 15, which, if anyone's watching, you know, the the live stream or you hear it later, I have a background of Final Fantasy villain Arden. Hi, how's it going? Yeah. I, oh shit! The stream, the stream is the other way, so I gotta point this way. Hold on. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah, I, I can see the stream, which is sort of mirrored from my version. So it's like I got to point Sorry. this way to point at Ryan's screen. Sorry about yeah, that. So... I had to move it around a little bit. <laughs> You'll see it in a few seconds. 
There's a ah, few I've already seen it. Yeah. So, so a few weeks back, Duncan, we were talking about like you know cutting bits of content out of games just for the sake of it and to resell them at mm-hmm. you know different points. And we brought up Final Fantasy How, fifteen and as the, the example. And the problems that that creates from like a storytelling perspective. Yes, i.e., in Final Fantasy fifteen, characters just upping and fucking off for a couple of chapters and then coming back as if people weren't going to notice. And then the yeah, DLC like, comes out, and there was a bit of like, like, where have you been doing for the last few days? It's like, well, buy this DLC and find out. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, oh, oh, hello, like, Gladiolus. Why have you now got an extra scar? Like well, fact, but it's like the fa- yeah, it's like what I was saying. Basically, what it boils down to, my argument against that is basically from like a toy, toy story, it's from a storytelling <laughs> perspective. Uh, you know, the fact that these side stories happen like within the within the span of a of a of a single continuous game like you know like it's not like it happens after this game or before this game it's not an entirely unrelated side story or anything like that it like it literally begins and ends within the same storyline that you're currently experiencing mm. so because of that by the time that they rejoin up with you in order to not have total like cognitive dissonance with this in the story like you mm. they, they, they they need to be effectively unchanged enough that it doesn't matter whether or not you saw that story or not. Hmm. Uh, because otherwise yeah. you'll be like missing a whole lot of necessary information about what happened to them. Uh, and yet Final Fantasy XV that, still managed to do that. But because of that, it kind of makes the the, the DLC moot because it's like, well, okay, well, if nothing really matters as far as what happens in the story... Then why why should I pay fifteen dollars or whatever it costs to buy it? Mm-hmm. So that's so, that's my that's my issue with it. So based on that, I am an absolute masochist, and to <laughs> prove that point, um, ended up with Final Fantasy fifteen, including all DLC up to episode Arden, uh, at deep discount. Oh. And I've started going through the journey of playing through the episodes, which is the DLCs before playing the main story because you get pretty sick ass weapons which are not good at the point that you would get them which is playing them at the uh recommended level at the at the recommended chapter and level yeah uh, but are mm-hmm. extremely overpowered early game early game yeah so yeah. um i've played through two of them at the moment so i've played through episode gladiolus and episode prompto okay, um, okay. and there's there's two others there's episode ignis and episode arden and then there's a multiplayer expansion pack for reasons because you know final, that's what final fantasy needed was a fucking co-op and it's like okay <laughs> yeah and at that point there was also supposed to be a destiny changing alternate ending to the game which was going to be its own episode, which was like episode Lucis or Summit, um, that was going to change the ending of the game, bringing back the characters that disappeared at the end of 15. Yeah, Duncan is allergic to DLC bullshit, so... Uh... It's okay, I was I muted my microphone in time. So. Yeah, no, I it's fine. Um, but so yeah, so episode Gladios is um, with Gladio, the big burly sidekick of the royal party in the game and his is effectively your just... surfer dubro mentor guy yeah, core um yeah you Here's you end up meeting in. core the immortal and you find out a big story about why he's immortal and it turned out he fucked up a giant fight against some 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 guy who lost his arm and you walked away in disgrace and you were deciding because you need to see yourself which is why you disappear for a chapter and a half um, and you do that, and it's just dueling mechanics. It's just fight after fight after fight with with dueling. And episode prompto, you play as um, well his uh, Noctis's camera happy best friend, mm-hmm. um, who also for those who really haven't played Final Fantasy fifteen, he's obsessed with he's obsessed with chocobos and obsessed with also finding out himself. But that's because yeah. he figures out he's a giant Niflheim clone. Wow. Good for him, man. And his 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 is played Metal Gear Solid like. So sorry, go. 
Yeah, I was just gonna say. So like, I, I, have, I have issues with uh, Pronto. It's just like it's just like I get you know, out of the whole cast, like of the main four people. I'm just like, I guess he's my favorite because mm-hmm. he's like not utterly miserable, uh, like the rest of them are. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the same time, it's like it comes with a grain of salt, little little asterisk in the sense that he's peppy and optimistic in like the most inappropriate situations like yeah. you know it's like not an hour after your entire kingdom has been has been you know flat earthed by the evil empire and your dad has been murdered yeah so you find like, i want to go see the chocobos like... i want to go see the chocobos yeah. let's go to the chocobo farm guys we've just like, lost got, our entire it's like, city it's like it's like prompto are you genuinely unaware that this is just not a good time for that are you are you just really that <laughs> not not there nah. like we, like it is not the time to go see the chocobos okay that's not the kind of cheering up i need it's like chocobos this is the kind of yeah. cheering up i need chocobos and selfies and spending every night of him just taking random pictures including in combat <laughs> It's like, hold on, let me get a good shot of this. It's like he is murdering us. It's like I but it looks I, cool. I'm halfway down his throat. Oh. <laughs> I I think I remember was it is it Titan that's one of the bosses in it? Is that the giant the giant giant? I'm not sure. That sort of Noxus is taking on, and I'm sure when I rested at the end of the night, Prompto had took a picture of Noctis just about to get wailed on by a left fist. <laughs> and and Noctis and me there trying to block with the sword or parry or something as it just looks like he's about to get wailed on. But um, yeah, the the Good DLCs shot. are the DLCs are all right, but they're not at a length that would make sense of cutting them out of the game or yeah, messing with no, the story. Just, and I mean, no, a lot of this is for, just, yeah. They tried to bionicle it. You know, they were like, oh, let's make a. Cross media behemoth, cross media behemoth of all these different platforms and stuff, and have this oh. crazy intertwining story. Yeah, well, I mean, what did but we have? We like, a... But most people just didn't care about most of it. Nobody mm. fucking saw the movie. You know? Yeah, like, which was which, which was apparently that. which was apparently important and a bit weird misplaced because it was like prequel interquel. And it was like, all oh, right, this is what happens before the events of the game, and also this is what happens just before. You know, insomnia, which I think the name of the the city is, gets attacked or kingdom. So, uh, mm. yeah, I will probably report back once I've played episode Ignis and episode Ardin, and the multiplayer mode can just go. Um, okay. That sounds Deed. like a plan. Yeah, and well. that'll be that'll be a couple more explanations as to why um, they should have just been in the main game. Right, I seed my case. Everyone else, don't I feel right. old? I I just. I just noticed that one day ago, Street Fighter 2 turned 30 years old. Oh yeah, is that a, is that oh a game? Oh my that you're god, Street Fighter. With, uh... 30. Oh, I, am, I am feeling old. Wow. Yeah. I, remember, yeah, I would say I would say that I feel old, except that's older than me. So like, I have no context for that. So. Uh... I'm very surprised. Yeah, it's like, hey, Star Fox 64 is 23 years old. Drink, drink, drink. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, technically, I played, I've, I've, a little boy. I've played quite a few hours of that one. I was going to say, um, for me, it's Bart Simpson. Uh, Bart Simpson's been in 10th grade as long as I've been alive. He's been 10. <laughs> it, was a, it was like, I, I remember that, that, uh, that, that Family Guy and Simpsons crossover episode. Where, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> where they had that one nod to the floating timeline business. Or, or uh, I can't remember who asked Bart, but one of them asked, like, "How long has this 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 Wilson guy been beating up on you?" He's like, "About twenty three years." <laughs> so it's like, I just give him a look, like, hmm? and they move on. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a good, it was a good little gag. Yeah, it's just yeah. Yeah, we're all old. We're all a bunch of fucking old people who are gonna die soon. It's very depressing. We're we're in the we're the immaterial gamers, not the uh, eternal youth gamers. Mm. Speaking of one of them, while he's keep on going, I'm while uh, he's updating Twitter. 
yeah, while he's one momenting, uh, I also found that apparently the Xbox head marketing uh, or head of marketing, Aaron Greenberg, tweeted at Elon Musk <laughs> to make a real life version of the Halo Warthog. Ooh. That would be fucking awesome. I know that lots of people have done like like modded jeeps to like kind of look like it. Yeah, but like I, most of them are just kind of like mo- primarily like cosmetic. Like like the you know it looks like it, but it's all fairly you know cheap materials. It would fall apart if it got into an accident or whatever. But mm-hmm. give it to Elon Musk, he might actually make it like viable. But my question is, would he still make it an electric vehicle? No, because the Warthog be- is not an electric vehicle. No, you'd be missing out on that iconic war hug. It's like it's yeah. gotta come with the um radio though. Like- but he could put the speaker in that he does with the Teslas that makes like the vehicle motor Sorry. sound. Yeah, you just take just take like the sound effect from the Warthog and just have that playing. It'd be great. But knowing Elon Musk, he'd put big two big motors into it and it'd do a backflip as soon as it tried to accelerate. <laughs> No, no, Elon Musk, he'd like make it like sentient or something. Like he just, he'd, <laughs> and, it, and it would also yeah. have a rocket and have to fly to the moon or something. And the it'll be AI like... controlled by a monkey brain. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be self-driving. I think you're all overthinking this. It'll be able to play pong on the dashboard with like psychic. It'll be you'll be able to play psychic pong with headsets in the back. Mm. There'll be a not a flamethrower as the exhaust. So for any of those people playing on. Uh... Yeah. Just mad scientists in the world. Anybody that uses Stadia, which is Google's game streaming account, they mm-hmm. apparently just banned Terraria. Or banned like somehow he violated their services. So yeah, they their, was it their Google account service. Yeah. Um so the guy no longer has access to his email or any anything to do with Google, he's basically totally blocked from now. Yeah, oh, so, so 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 therefore not, they pulled out Google. It's like that's like not having access to twenty five percent of the internet. You know, mm. it's just like fuck. No, he's ask Jeeves. <laughs> oh god, Alta like, Vista. Please uh, like tell me how to log into Oracle Terraria account. It's like he comes back and like no. <laughs> well, his last um, one of his last tweets, which was today, actually, his he's been. His account has been disabled for over three weeks. Still have no idea why. After using every resource I have to get this resolved, uh, See, what you what you don't know is Google sent him an email to his Google account, which he can't access. <laughs> which yeah. they forgot. They yeah. forgot. They didn't give him access to. <laughs> you know he's been blocked for three weeks, and I've had this rash for three weeks. Coincidence? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's just yeah. your old man rash, Duncan. Yeah, you're getting old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember that was, um, old from what rash, I yeah. saw on oh, this. Smoking some stinky pot. Mm. <laughs> so, so yeah, so apparently because of this whole Google accounts kerfuffle, um, he's pulled development of Terraria for the Stadia. Yeah, I and would. He said guy. he's no longer going to work with Google ever because mm-hmm. of it. But good fuck, Bill Gates. Which is, which is not great, considering Google needs all the developers they can get, considering they shut down their own fucking Stadia game studio. Yeah. Stadia Less is than... like, like I, don't, I don't know what that... This, is, this might sound silly as a guy who's part of the Immaterial Gamers. Like, I don't mm. know what Stadia is. What the fuck it's, is that? It's sort of like a Game Pass kind of thing, where you apply for, like, you make an account on it, you pay monthly... And you can play the games that are available on, either on their Stadia okay. thing. Um, some of it is live played. Some of it's downloaded and played locally. But you yeah. have to keep an active account to play it. Mm-hmm. I had it for a don't few like months. It. Don't, don't and, like it, dude. Streaming games. Don't like it. Um, not there wasn't many streaming games. The ones that did stream were very low volume. I love watching the dogs fighting in the background. While playing in the background, yeah, they're just doing their uh, thing. They're having a good they're time to figure out what stadium. Is. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out too. But yeah, that's but yeah, basically what it is. Amber's, Amber's a, a Microsoft Game Pass fan, and Max is a Stadia fan. You know. Yeah, that's it's why she's good. taking the advantage. Mm-hmm. I'm on. She's winning, yeah. I'm on higher ground. You can't win. I have the higher I'm, ground. I'm also the bigger dog, and on higher ground. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear, that deserves an odd in high five. 
There you go. Yeah. Right, wait, hold on. Uh, just, just hold on. And way, way over there. Way over there. Oh, my arm is not long enough. Kind of that, uh, in direct, that direction, roughly. Oh, good. We can always yeah. do one. Uh... Yeah, yes. you guys okay. can do it. Wait, hold on. It's <laughs> It'll be this way. Go on, go on, go on. Exploit. A little it. further down yeah. here. There you go. For those <gasps> listening, it's definitely yeah. no, just high five. Uh, D, uh, hold on. I like that as soon as you make contact, you just go like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wrong oh, way, Dom. Wrong there you way, Dom. No, you got it, you got it. No, the other way, the other way. <laughs> other side. Oh, there, side. You go. there you go, there you go. I love how he turned his hand, thinking that would change. He's also much closer to his camera than you are, so it makes it look like his hand is twice the size as yours is. Yeah. Oh, Did you not uh, know D's a giant? I'm going to squish you, Duncan. <laughs> No. Look at us. It's it's like it's like Twitch hasn't existed for a while, and we're just yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Speaking of how old we are, this is this is us getting into the Twitch scene. Yeah. Twitch is ten years old. Is it really? Oh, great! Even more old. Yeah. Like it took us ten years now. to really get it. Well, actually, I've had an account on Twitch for a while. So have I. Mm. I used to use it like three or four years ago a lot. But I, I still don't use it that much. I just use it because of the Amazon Prime one that's attached to it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'll take the free stuff. So, what else is going on? Uh, what else is or what have we played? I, I, I mean, I played a game. Oh, he played oh. a game. I, I feel like I, sh I, d I have to mention it just in case I get called away and I have to leave early. Yeah, I he feel should like go I'm first. obligated to mention the fact that. Uh, you know, I I did in fact uh, respond to a a, a certain challenge. challenge slash request that was put forth by none other than our current um, host. Our current host, uh, <laughs> this guy over here. There we got a bright uh, idea. Oh no, it's gonna. Get... I, I d <laughs> he did. He got a ding. He remembers. Uh, I I downloaded World of Warcraft. Uh, Actually, that was on our last podcast, I think, that it was uh, brought up, too. Yeah, yeah that was, was the podcast before, I believe. No, that was the last one. No, I don't think so. I think that, We've I only think done it, two it, lives. Yeah, it feels it feels like it was two podcasts ago because of our weird live streaming schedule, and it was supposed to be mm -hmm. done today. So it feels like we're two days late, but we're really not. It's actually the same amount of time, technically. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm not I saying that we're doing it. this every week, but, you know. So far, it seems to be happening. My, my, my main weekends have been really busy lately. I just, I don't know what to tell you. Um, hey, if it works, but, we'll do it. But... but anyway, I downloaded World of Warcraft. I have downloaded the starter edition. I have begun the epic adventures of uh, Noob Lord. The, How many uh, 20s the do you world. have so far? Because <laughs> that was the challenge. How many 20s do you have so far? Because that was the challenge. Have all How of the many? level 20s. No, he, How he, many the level challenge 20s? was for I him have, to live the Noob Lord. Um, Hold on, I need to do some math here. Let's carry um, the two. Which needs to uh, minus the one. Multiply this times that. I have ninety percent of one level twenty account. <laughs> well, my, my, my that's blood elf mage is, My blood elf mage is level eighteen. What is with everybody going mage? Sapphire's yeah, a mage. Yeah, this is what You're a mage. Never, Every daddy's got a mage. You know. In I feel past, like I need to roll a mage. I've never, I've never, in my life, I have never purchased a World of Warcraft subscription. That has never happened a single time. I've never bought an expansion for World of Warcraft. I've never bought a subscription for World of Warcraft. Never happened. Well, I'd hope you never the bought an ever... expansion if you've never bought a subscription, because that would be a very waste of money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's so I've, you know, I've never played. I've never bought World of you Warcraft. Met, I've only played free trials and stuff of it. I've, the only characters I've ever played, I've, I've played a paladin, I've played a hunter, I might have played a warrior once briefly. So I know you've played, played my of... paladin. I, I made you play I've paladin because I knew it. I played physical characters pr primarily. I've never once played like a magic based character, really in any RPG of any kind. Hmm. So I was like, oh, fuck it, let me try something new. I'll play a mage. Yeah, that's you fair. Know? I just love it because it's like it seems to be like the thing to go right now for new players. It'd be nice if that's a lie. I never went mage. You went hunter. The, the, the only thing I've noticed is everyone goes blood elf. Yeah. 
I Sad part is, I, I said the fairy for this. Go ahead. It, they're the least ugly of all the horde characters, and if you're or, wanting the closest thing to an alliance that's not alliance, yeah, or the closest thing to a human that's yeah, not alliance. alliance. It's not a human because two of the fuck plays alliance, honestly. Like, yeah, exactly. On, at least, at I'm least he already asked. knows that. It, no one fucking asked you. At least he knows not to play alliance. I'll give him that. The two at the bottom of the stream are uh, they'll, they'll just flip flop. They're 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 very loosey goosey about it. Wait, do, do, wait. Just like typical alliance. I I um, have an alliance. I can't say I really play it. <laughs> well, yeah. I have an alliance too because they were playing alliance and they made me do it because it's the only way I could play with them. Ugh. I know oh, yeah. what we should do. You know, considering everyone's like building mages, we should like all make mages and just do dungeon runs with mirror image spec. Or f <laughs> yeah, just five mages. Well, we would need some to really do some good damage. So maybe not all okay, mirror five. image. That'd be a fun. That'd be a fun like one-off stream. Just five level twenty mages. Just fucking. Well, there is a. <laughs> uh, there is actually a guild. Well, not a guild. Be great. It'd be even better if we could get like one, like every single one is from a different race. No, there is you a. You were saying about a guild. Go on, Dave. There's a group that has downed every boss as a five man cloth group. Also, priests and stuff like that. Yeah. Priests, That's... warlocks, and mages. Well, the warlocks are overpowered. Every dungeon. Warlocks are overpowered. They can tank. They've downed every dungeon in Shadowlands. Uh, still, that that brings me back in the old days, and D, you might have remembered this, um, but the old uh, Project Holy Beef it never really took off. There was a little bit. Yeah, the the idea was to just run dungeons from 1 to, at the time, 70, um, using a team of five Tauran Paladins. Hence, Project Holy Beef. Yeah. Tauran's yeah. going to be Paladins? I didn't know this. Yeah, my, yep. my remember the I used to always play Paladin, and what expansion was it? Burning Crusade? No, Ice uh, Crown. Uh, Frozen Throne. It was Lich King that started bringing yeah powers. and so I switched adding new classes characters. for characters. Yeah, I, Lich King. Wow, expansion. <laughs> yeah, I I brought or I moved my Blood Elf, Blood Elf again, um, Paladin, which at the point before that I believe Blood Elf was the only horde that could go Paladin. Yeah, uh, it yeah. Was. and I then oh. so I I loved Paladin, so I had to go Blood Elf, and then that patch came out, and I instantly went cow. <laughs> I instantly changed my race to a cow. It, it, instant cow. Pretty that's, much. That's the episode name, guys. Uh, instantly went cow. Instantly cow. Instant. instant. Speaking of, um... how about instant cow? Sort of like instant <laughs> rice. Instant cow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Speak is, yes, but he's got a point there. A little bit of water. It's like, Speaking cow. of um, cows, um, yesterday the, we got the infinity cow. Oh yeah, so I'll, I'll 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 bring that one up. There's this crazy crazy maze of stuff on Stoneblock Two that we've been playing, and basically what you have to do is you have to cross breed all the different fluid cows, and Basically, there's enough cows to fill a double chest in Minecraft minus one slot. And each slot is a different type of cow that probably has to get bred with something else somewhere along the line, except for the infinity cow, which is the last one. So he yeah. had to crossbreed every single cow, and he did that all in one night. Within a four, four hours. Yeah, within a four hour stream last night, he did it all. Um, all 50 cows. And. Not to mention, some of these cows have like a 1% chance when they breed to give the next cow. Yep. I had a stack of um, Stella and Evil Infused cows. Yeah, he, had a, he had a couple stacks. He had a couple stacks of different types of cows. Um, he had three or four more than one stack of cows because that how many took... Uh, that's how many... Death. Yeah, that's how many bred to... Or that's how many kept repeating themselves without breeding to the next stage. Yeah, beef. beef we beef, we beefing with me right now. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of beef. beef? There, there there's a lot it's of beef. beef. <laughs> but on the on the on the plus side, I didn't die again. So 
we don't have to spend that infinity block as soon as we get it. Well, theoretically, we haven't gone back to it yet, and I don't know if it's been loaded. Uh, it's we been loaded the... constantly. So we might have the we might need to empty out the infinity cap. Yeah, the only time it's not loaded right now is right now because Stefan logged out and I logged out before the stream because I didn't think we wanted any Minecraft noise coming through our stream. Um, that, that's a lie. Well, the last thing we need Stephen is another C418 it. song getting picked to up. Be honest, I never but... left. It told me you removed me. To be honest, that's weird because you just left when you started to play. When you switched over to play uh, World of Warcraft with Duncan, that's when you left. I joined again way before that. Oh, I didn't see you join. But no, um, I joined. I think you left as I joined. Oh, maybe. And we found out. And we found out the hard way when you can get the hundred percent. Prepare to be deafened. Oh yeah, when you finish a whole uh, <laughs> line of, there's a quest book, and there's different tabs. So cows were one tab, and then there's this Mystery. essence. There's this uh, mystical agriculture, as another yeah. tab, and yeah, when you complete the whole quest line, the noise is loud, and I feel sorry for anybody who's who watches that video and gets to that point because. It was louder than any other Minecraft noise I had. I had my master volume way down, and all of a sudden, bing! I was awake. It, it was, was so one of those you, you could hear it across the room. It's just like yeah. if you, you could smell it as like a substitute for for coffee. It'd just be like, who needs caffeine? Just listen to this noise for but five seconds. To put it into perspective, <laughs> at least Danny knew when the noise was going to happen. I didn't know he was completing the quest line, and it completes it for all of us. So I'm just doing something, and all of a sudden, bing! <laughs> I'm like, whoa! So, yeah, that's sort of what me and Dan, or that's what sort of me and Dan and uh, Stefan were doing. But we've also but played no, we've, some. We've, we've now got Master of Agriculture and Fluid Cows is done. Mystical Agriculture. Done. As, uh, the, as the Danny tries to speak. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it looks like bunch of us have been playing world of warcraft and i know three of us are in stone block which is going yeah i made level 50 in world of warcraft yeah yeah i was actually oh, um, 51 or 52 well side note today is the day that love fills up for the next two weeks in warcraft yeah so yesterday i mean on yeah. the podcast uh, uh, I've, day, I've already done i've already done my uh my my Fucking um, your speech what the fuck is the name of it. Uh, my what is it? The what's the one where people like like love each other and kiss each other? Valentine's Day. That's oh the, yeah, I've already done my Valentine's Day commitments. It's a video that's currently uh. Sorry, one Ryan's one moment. Box. This actually, uh, yeah, this, this podcast so far. <laughs> I'll I'll just do it early. Hey Ryan, do you want to be my Valentine? No. Okay. Cool. Aww. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. <laughs> I I don't know what to tell you about that video, man. It was uh, I was caught off guard. It was my sister's idea. Uh, I don't want to know what you're doing with your sister. Yeah, uh, <laughs> See, that's an example of something that we would cut out in the recorded version. Uh, yeah, that's where I just. Well, do just a giving TOS your sister a hug. Just, and, just... just giving your sister a hug isn't too bad. Yeah, I just hugged her. For That's exactly. An and... <laughs> Whoa! Now you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. The video's an hour long. What, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> I mean, I'm concerned. I mean, I, I'm receiving, like, video content from Duncan and Andrea. <laughs> and a lot of it has just been usually Fire Emblem stuff, you dirty minded con. Don't even. <laughs> the Fire Emblem stuff, but there's a Persona episode. I have just received a, a message from Twitch. Your Immaterial Gamers account has been blocked. <laughs> no. Well, it was a good like, run, guys. Wait, uh, wait, well, then how are we still live streaming? <laughs> yeah, it's going to take about 30 seconds for the delay to get there. <laughs> no, 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 dirty stuff's happening. It's all a joke. Yeah, I'm not even... I. Now I I'm not going to I'm not going to mention what it is cuz it will be coming out as a video at some point. I will also go over Duncan and Andrea's video game challenge idea so we can review it and look to uh, amend it in a way. Yes. Remember, you remember? 
you remember the, the one involving uh, blindfolded, um, blindfolded rhythm heaven? Oh yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Which became mm-hmm. rhythm hell, from what from what I heard. <laughs> yeah, um, that would. That's a video that's probably not going to make it out, but, you know, it was an attempt. Was um, it was the first that. video that we ever recorded that didn't make it out, although it is the first one that we recorded and actually sent you that didn't come out. We've actually recorded uh, yes. a good two or three videos that we never showed you. Yeah, because it seems to be the weird thing on this. If I get sent a video, it's coming out. I, I've noticed that. Every live stream I, get, I put up has gone out. Oh, yeah, they they end up on live stream dump day, which is currently a Thursday. Um, it seems to have entered the the not quite sure whether we've retired it or not Team Fight Thursday because we don't know whether it would end up being replaced by all random all Mondays. Um, all random all Mondays. <laughs> I hate Mondays. But um, you know, so currently while we figure out what's going on there, one day of the week is just a a day where the Discord, our Discord, just gets flooded with the bot just saying, "Oh, this video's out. This video's out. This one's out. And you. And you." But uh, yeah, trash Thursday. <laughs> but yeah, that's the. Take the trash Thursday. I don't know. The Are you calling note. my videos trash? Side. So yeah, they are up there. They uh, are. No, the side note for that is um, the World of Warcraft thing is the long strange trip. You have to do the events like a week a year or whatever it is. Mm. You have this week to do the um, Elder Wood, the Elder. Which Chinese New Year, and then yeah. um, Valentine's one. Uh, speaking of stuff that may not be around for a long time, or would take a year to actually get around to do. Hey, Steph, do you remember that game that we used to play by EA? Um, we were flying around in mech suits. Um, or what was it called? Melody. Um. Oh, Anthem. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it was supposed to be EA and Bioware's big live server. I can't do that. It was the thing to take out some... Destiny and it failed miserably. What a load of bollocks that was. Um, yeah, sorry, I, every time I see the words live service, I can't help but try and do a Jim Sterling impression. Just live service. Triple A. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, so um, yeah, no, just I just always have those uh, James Stephanie Sterling videos in my head. Um, but uh, yeah, so the whole <laughs> we played the game, we started it, we went through the story, and we were waiting a month down the line to have the regular content, these chapters coming in, and they didn't do it, and they were late, and they fucked up, and it took around twenty years for it to load on my computer, and then they said they were going to build Anthem from the ground up. And do an Anthem 2.0 or Anthem Next. And it was going to be Sounds better. Like and really you're going to forgive us all. That's the first time around. <laughs> yeah, that would have yeah. been a good idea. Well, I, I have a question. Before you took everybody's money. <laughs> I have a question. Did you forgive them? Mm. No. Uh, no, and probably a lot of people... I forgot all about them. Yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> and, um, I, I they forgot that. Well, let's put it straight. When he said Anthem, it, it, it took me a bit to clock on for what game that he I had to on. Google it. <laughs> I had yeah. to Google because I had never even heard of it. Yeah. So but I mentioned yeah. that because while while you were doing that, I was just looking to see if there were any other gaming news. And like about an hour ago, um, Kotaku reported that, or is a report, rumor, um, that later on this week, EA are actually going to be getting, uh, having an all hands meeting, particularly with the Anthem developers or whoever's left, which is about 30 people working on the project since half of Bi- uh, BioWare just jumped ship and Ivro working on Dragon Age. Four. Forty-seven. It's four, isn't it, Steph? Yeah, yeah four. four. Um, or if they're just gonna, you know, well, didn't they say you know, just just fix up? What's up? The, yeah, they said, oh, we're gonna do this like massive thing, and then oh, wow, I've what... forgotten what they called it. It was like the, it wasn't a cataclysm. It was something. It was like this big major event, and it was just a horde mode. Yeah, it's just like oh, we're. Um... Oh. But yeah, it's just like, oh, we're going to do this massive thing and it's going to take weeks and whatnot. And then it's just like, the team just give up after like a month of like, yeah. and the team jump yeah. ship. You know it's bad uh, when the team jump ship. The developer so, team. Yeah, so um, EA, according to this Kotaku article, are basically saying, we don't even know if we're just going to, we don't even know if we're going to carry on. We might just abandon it and shut the service. 
Sorry. That awkward moment when the people who made No Man's Sky are like handling their property better than you. Yeah, that, that did remind me of the No Man's Sky thing. Yeah, give, give yeah. So No Man's Sky was like, okay, we fucked up. We're gonna spend the next like two years like actually. Oh yeah, giving, giving you everything that we said we were gonna give you. Speaking I'm, of which, I'm I do want to, I do want to relaunch that because I haven't played that in a long time, and last time I played mm. it, I did, oh, thank you. couldn't figure it out. I'd, I'd be interested in seeing what it's like with with next and stuff like that. I think it's it's actually on Game Pass, so if anyone has Game Pass, it might just be worth at least a try. Mm. Um, um, not not everything on Game Pass. Game Game Gay Pass. Gay Pass. <laughs> uh, Chiz, or is there something you need to tell us? Is, uh, is did you order like, a new pass? Well, like. So like the so like I mean is the is the gay pass the one where you get to say the other f word and not get in trouble for it kind of like no. the N word pass kind of no or... I was gonna say it could be um <laughs> actually legitimately it would be the thing that goes in the village in August ah uh, yeah so all the those all parade. those all the all the gay pass ends up joining yeah pride pride you got a one month pride subscription <laughs> pride. Oh yeah, but, uh, that isn't a thing that you actually have. Like Pride and Sparkle, you, they do try and get you to do buy a stupid pass for the weekend. Mm. Oh mm. god, but it still still reminded me of it still reminded me of uh, good old internet historian videos that I watched every now and again because you know the fall yeah. of seventy six was very good video. Very um, funny. Yeah. yeah, and he did another one though called the End Goodening of No Man's Sky. Yes, the end good thing of No Man's Sky, yes. The the fall and rise of No Man's Sky. Yeah. Um, which had the like the really awkward <laughs> I love it actually. It's like, and this is where the end of the video is. However, this is not the end of the video because now we've got some awful <laughs> awkward loving with the, the guy at Sean Murray, is it? I don't know. It's um good free good and uh, the, uh, the second yeah. good free evil out yet. Or is that still on the docket? The second what, sorry? Beyond Good and Evil, not Beyond Good and Evil. Is oh, it? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet, I wouldn't bet on that coming out anytime soon. Because this, this uh, it, they did the first one and they went, yeah, here's the cutscene for the second one, and then it never happened. Now that that was just teasing to get you to buy other Ubisoft games because promise, if you buy all these Ubisoft games, you'll get, you will, we'll, we'll do Beyond Good and Evil, and the guy who made it didn't just suddenly leave and then get accused of a raft of abuse offences. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because um, I actually enjoyed Beyond Good and Evil. Mm. First I'm, one. I'm, I'm going to be really honest. I mean, hearing what happened with Ubisoft behind the scenes did has sort of put me off playing a lot of their games. Mm. But that might also be the explanation that once you played one open world Ubisoft game, you played them you've all. Played them all. Doesn't matter whether it's a stealth game, a shooter, oh, or yeah. a racing game. As long as they're open world, you've played them. You have. Don't try and tell me that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is good. I could play any of the fucking ones before it. <clears throat> Don't tell that to my girlfriend. <clears throat> she loves Sorry, Valhalla. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I know. So, so discussing, uh, discussing potential um, ideas of how See, to recall. The, the, the thing I had with the whole Assassin's Creed thing is, it was always the same, and as soon as they added the boats, that was terrible. No, 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 no. That, that being said, that was the one innovation that they actually did across their entire franchise. Sapphire agrees with you, Stefan. She hated that part too. She hated the boats. Okay, fair enough. Of, no, so it's, so Assassins it's to the Caribbean it. was my favorite. Assassins to the Caribbean. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There was the interesting one that was like the the multiplayer one. Was it Unity, Assassin's Creed Unity, otherwise known as Viva la Assassination? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't play Assassin's Creed. Don't worry about it. Neither do I. I'll get you a copy of number two. I, even though I have, you know, because the Ubisoft thing that they keep going. Oh, here's a game. I've now got f four or five of the Assassin's Creed. Do you know one game chug, that chug, I... Chug, 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 chug. One game I really wanted to play and I just couldn't get into it because the controls on that were terrible at Thief. Is it the, like the rebooted Thief? I believe so. 
Uh, but the controls were like fucking everywhere. Mm. Oh. It, it was yeah, literally hiding if, in the background. If, literally, if you hiding, that's not hiding. <laughs> oh, that was that was quite clearly not hiding. See? Get that... Put that finger down. <laughs> she loves that finger. Oh, no, I'm not getting involved in that one. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, what else have we got on the docket then? Is there anything else to find? How long have we been running, Terry? Uh, we have been running 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Oh. I, I, wanted to put, at the end there. I wanted to put one little point in. Yeah, go for it. It's looking good for Steam. Did you hear the, oh, yeah. the, the news that Steam hit 20, almost 27 million concurrent players at the same time? That's obscene. That is that obscene. Is, that is that. Yeah, you should. Yeah, that should be like you put a curtain over that. That's that is obscene right there. Yeah, twenty six point yeah, four million. Yeah, let's, on let's, let's put that into or... perspective. Yeah, the the population of the United Kingdom is about sixty six to sixty eight million. Yeah, so actually, that was today. Is under forty. Twenty six point four million today at I don't know what if what time zone it's running. Uh, it's not actually telling me which time zone it's running. Is that people look into Steam while we yeah, talk? That would be that is that is more people that than currently than there are currently living in the country of Australia current, right now. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, don't so know if that's that is, uh... playing or just logged in. So concurrently, yeah. So that'd be concurrently. That'd just be everyone on Steam. Now, I mean, some of those. Well, I'll tell you right now, as a, as I've got a Steam open Steam user, I do not. I'm not constantly logged into Steam, so I'll take mm. the login if that's yeah. if that's the requirement they're going to. Yeah, yeah I'm, so I'm always logged in. Mm. Yeah, so am I. So we would we, we would count to that. Um, but even still, well, come on, there's probably millions of people, like trillions of people who are just sat there logged on on trillions. Steam. There, Stefan, I'm going to stop you right there. There are not trillions of people. Like, There's only billions. billions. Never, never, never mind yeah. Steam. Yeah, but then you have to remember, everyone else, don't forget all the Smurf accounts that will also be logged on, all the hacking accounts that will be logged on, as well as their original accounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see where Steph's at. It's like, it would be a falsehood you, to say that you'd have 7 billion people on the planet only having one Steam account. I mean, technically, we've got ever, an immaterial gamer Steam account. It's got one game on do you ever wonder if the seven billion people statistic is actually just skewed? This is a bunch of people on Smurf accounts, and it's like <laughs> it's only like three or four billion is. people in the world, and, but there's just a bunch of people who are just Smurfing in another life, you know. Between those, someone, they're using, someone they're using the, be... uh, the they're using the Elon Musk like headgear to like like pop into other well, people's brains. I think whatever. oh god, this concurrent the number. Bruce Willis film. Is actually playing games. It's not I logged in. Games. Okay, that's wow. even more because as of like this is the topic that I'm reading. Um, it doesn't say that they're actually playing games, but it's saying something like, in the past 24 hours, uh, there was one million people playing CS:GO. So right now the Average gamers playing CS:GO every day is one million. So I'm wondering if the concurrent means active players. Like they may not have to be playing currently, but they have to have been playing within so much time. Yeah. Whatever the threshold is, because it doesn't say that they're currently playing. It just says concurrent. But I'm assuming it's, well, it's probably like, semi-active. Well, you have to. Well, it's like you know, like if you could even if you could get one frame of people. Who are you know twenty seven million people who are playing games at the same time? It's like you also have to just step back and realize that that probably means that anywhere between you know ten and twenty people, ten and twenty million people are just on like pretty much all the rest of the time forever. You know, yeah, like like the the point, yeah, hitting a, a, an incredible milestone for like an hour like that is incredible, but like that. It really speaks to, the, to just the volume of Steam users in general. You know, it's like they probably don't go okay. below ten million all uh, that often. You know, if, so you if know, that's what they're 
this one's over a year old, and I, but according to this, the most people logged into Steam at once is twenty, just over twenty million. Yeah, well, this says they just passed their. Uh, 2021 has been a great year for Steam, surpassing its 26 million concurrent users for the first time. Last month, Steam passed 25 million users. So they've gone up one, almost 1 million, well, they've gone over 1 million more users playing at a time yeah, since yeah. last month. But yeah, got, like, like I said before, as of uh, the, it, the, there, there are 25.36 million people living in Australia as of 2019, so... 26 million current Steam users. It's about the same population as Australia. So maybe it's only Australians logged into Steam. Just <laughs> all the Australians. Right down to the last like man, woman, child, baby. You gotta remember, there's still always... Yeah, there's still a few, like, know, illegal immigrants. Platypus. Don't forget about the illegal immigrants that aren't registered, everything like that. So that that's it's only people yeah. in Yeah, they're Australia. not registered, but they have a Steam account. That's exactly. their ID. Exactly. Okay. Be honest, can... mom's got a Steam account. She doesn't even play. I was about to say <laughs> you can get the info on people who have a who are on Steam and people who are in game through Steam. Because last year it was just over twenty million people were on Steam, but only six point five million. Were hey, remember how I said I'm always on Steam? Yes. Guess who's not on Steam? Steam? No. <laughs> You, to be honest, when you said that, I was thinking you've not been on for a bit. Yeah, I didn't even realize. Team. I didn't realize that it closed. Right yeah. I'll probably it opens off. up every time I turn on my computer, but it's on Authenticator, so it doesn't automatically log in. Yeah, mine too. And I guess I probably just closed it because I was too lazy to get mm -hmm. the Authenticator code. So, I mean, I'll wrap up that Steam conversation by going back to what you were saying about like a million people concurrently playing CSGO at the same time, which you know, is a massive number, and at least six of those aren't wall hackers. Yeah, at least six. <laughs> Minimum of six. Is that... It's like playing Siege. Is that the uh, the final cue for me to do the outro? <laughs> at least six one, of them are one awkward hacking. joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know what? Let's let's go for it. Let's let's uh, let's this look at the part where I confess that I've been using hacks this whole time, and I'm just that bad that you didn't even notice. My first Steam <laughs> account got banned for hacking on Counter Strike. <laughs> it seems it's, it's a rite of passage. But back um, then, you, I'll give it a. I'll, I'll, I want to say one thing about that. Back then, I I don't even know if Steam was. It, I don't think it was. It was just a way to connect to servers. It didn't have anything to do with downloading games or anything like that. You bought the game. Stuff. Yeah, you bought the game hard copy and you put it. You it would connect to your like. It basically was Steam by buying the game. You you could, you could have had that Discord message I had. Um... The other day, which I shared Ryan. Oh, oh, that was classic. I some guy, um, some guy messaged me saying, "Sorry to disturb you, but I made a mistake and accidentally reported your Steam account for um, what was it for?" Hold on, um, I've got it. Uh, hello, sorry to disturb marketing you. Marketing illegal you products. Way to go, Steph! Yeah. You're marketing illegal products. I just, you know what? We might as well do the whole conversation because we can just embarrass this spam bot. It's like, hello, sorry to disturb you, but do you have a minute? I made a big mistake to your Steam account, Steph. A big mistake Hi. to your what, Steam account. Uh, what do you yeah. mean? Because um, I accidentally reported you for making illegal purchases on Steam instead of someone else. The Steam admin said your account will be deleted. The Steam admin, you know, the one guy. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> Gabe Newell himself will will ban your account within the next yeah. thirty days. Yeah, Gabe N knows all. Um, okay, and the main reason why I message you because the <laughs> Steam admin wants to confirm that I accidentally reported you and you're not involved of those mistake report issues. So my report will not be processed and your account will not be banned permanently in Steam. Steph, well, for one, a report can't get me banned unless there's evidence, so I'm not worried. It's a admin will delete fact. your account if you can't prove you are innocent. Ah, by all the law, it's to prove that I'm not innocent. I don't need to prove my innocence. Plus, who's to say you're talking about my Steam account? Your message could not be delivered. This is usually because you don't share a server with the recipient, or the recipient is only accepting direct messages from friends. You can see the full Fair. list of reasons here. In other words, he deleted his account. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you guys a favor here. And whenever you see a guy like that, say something like that. It's just there there's go. a button called a block. Just... Oh, oh yeah, no. she watched Jim Brown in and all. Yeah, no, just go ahead and, you know, he's got a Discord. 
join it. He's got a he's got a whole spreadsheet of for 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 you know looking into people who do shit like that. Just post yeah. it right there. Oh, it's all great. Jim Browning is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's, hmm. I've well, even seen this. So he's he's a he's um he he probably takes the whole, almost like a cyber oh, what cop. Call it scam yeah. scam baiting is it or whatever they called it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you, you go you've got people who scam bait, and then you actually have general people from other third world countries that will actually send you emails because it has been proven there has been people who were comedians and that who thought I'll make a joke out of this, and they go, please can you like send me money and they message back saying i can't send you money but i'll send you a camera and i will send you money for the pictures so he sends like a just a like a terrible digital camera to them they took pictures sends it to him so he then pays them for the pictures and then gives them advice to get more pictures and what he pictures they're looking for what it turns out to be is this guy was actually trying to get money for his family to get out of wherever they were. And he actually become a photographer at the end of it all. Wow. Well, there you go. That's not bad. You see, that's a good story. It's a shame all the dickwads that Jim deals with, and Jim's not his real name, just so anyone realises. Yeah. I think the most information yeah, anyone's good. got out of him in two things. One was a panorama investigation in the UK, where they just said, Jim's not his real name. Well, thank you very much. And he was just a shadowy figure in the background. It was great. Um, and the other was the New York Post article for a recent video he did. Now, all we know about the man is that he's, well, he's like Irish, works in IT, um, is based near us or around us in a general location um, and has the middle name L. Because that's it, useful. It... Is he looking for someone who's killing people randomly by heart attacks by any chance? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like light and carer. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Like... Seriously, he's see the, death, awesome. see the see the live action Death Note would be so much better if it was play, if it took place in India and and the and the and the L was replaced by was played by Jim Browning. <laughs> be a totally different thing. It'd be great. I love it. I have to admit, the live action was terrible. Mm. I'd, I have to I have to say he's sort of like his original videos of just explaining what a scam was and how he dealt with it was one thing, but these up like these most recent videos where he's l interrupting someone's scam live is. Yeah. Oh. I think That's I may have, I think I may have actually seen some of his stuff then because I have seen that. There's a few people like him who do like this like the, who do like counter scamming. Yeah, but, yeah. Is probably the biggest you know, one operations, in but he's probably the most famous of the of the of the group. I, I know there's um a, an English comedian who um takes the mick out of people like that as well. I think oh, I know who you're Hugo Boss. Um, Is it him? Um, and I know. I mean, mean uh, the pansexual guy. Oh, I've forgotten his yes. name. I there's also it... there's also James Veach who does lots of stuff like that where he's not really like scam baiting in the traditional sense like Jim Browning is like mm. he's just a, he's just being a dick to <laughs> for the sake of it wasting their time he's yeah. extremely funny like extraordinarily funny what was uh, oh, in what he does. his name Joe Lysett that's oh. the name of the comedian is it Joe Lysett because he does um it's funny because while he's a big like comedian, he's also a consumer rights activist as well. But I joked on the fact that he's called Hugo Boss because he took the piss out of the company Hugo Boss, who sent copyright claims to people using. Uh, it's like a woman who named her shop Boss. Yes, it is him, by the way. So, so in in revenge, he changed his name by deed poll to Hugo Boss, and basically sent a "come at me, bro" to to the company. <laughs> yeah, he's done a few stuff like that, Anna. Yeah. I mean, the one about the the most famous one is about him getting the parking ticket. Yes. I, I thought that was hilarious when he goes, where it's just a picture of his car with so, a, a, a regrunted taxi driver, and now with his words, has written taxi across it. Yeah. 
<laughs> and he went, and he went, mom, mom, so um, I actually took evidence. a holiday to, I took a holiday to the moon. Yeah. It's like, well, you have to provide some evidence of this. A so I did. It's just a picture of him, of a of him with the, the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, have, um, I have removed the ticket, sir, and your account is now fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, so um, with that, I guess we will uh, wrap this up. So, Terry, back to you. Want me to cue the end outro? <laughs> uh, go, go, get ready to cue the outro. But uh, it, it, it spoils it when he has to say the... that. I know. Well, but do... I didn't know what he wanted probably, to do. <laughs> you probably do the part where we like, you know. Me- if you like what you have yeah. listened to, or what you see, usually you pass that on to Danny. Danny's good at that. At yeah, mumbling Danny, through it. Uh, Oh, for those who may be watching this on YouTube, uh, if you liked what you've just like listened to or whatever, give the like, share, subscribe, and click the notification and all that jazz. Yep, um, and this will be available in audio form that you can watch on or listen to on uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, and as of last week, Amazon Music. I was going to say Amazon. Yay! So it's uh, it's all back catalogued in there. Some of the stats are a bit weird. A some of the smarter. episodes say they, uh, some of the episodes say that the podcast says, uh, lasts thirteen thousand hours. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> Wait, uh, if you add them all together, is that how long it equals? No, no, that was no. just one episode. It came up and it said thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty-eight hours. Here. Just think about this for a second. We've done 130 episodes. If they were an hour apiece, it's 130 hours. All right, we're not even close. How many? How many close. years would that one episode take you to listen to? Um, I well, let me just uh, pull out a okay. calculator here. Uh, yeah, so see, 24 uh, hours a day, 365 13, days a year. Thirteen thousand divided by um, uh, 24 days is. Uh, uh, by 365 days in a year is uh, about a year and a half. It would take you. To, That's to, not that bad for one episode. We could do that. <laughs> but you're not. A, but you're not allowed to eat, drink, sleep, pee. You put it in headphones. It's an audio. You just walk around exactly. with your audio. It's, not, it's an audio podcast. Exactly. <coughs> as long as you got wireless. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and also on that, it's if you definite. are listening to this and you Metal didn't frame see us, worst idea ever. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, if you if you didn't see this live and you are watching it on YouTube or listening to it on those services, we do stream um, semi regularly at twitch.tv slash immaterial gamers. Usually about twice uh, a week, where... sometimes three times. Yeah, so there is um, the sort of the guarantee on this is that there'll be a Minecraft stream or a Team Fight Tactics stream, whatever Terry feels like. Whatever we're into uh, at the time. Yeah, um, I'm currently just doing Hades runs. Um, last last uh, stream I did, I was just playing Hades, um, rolling a dice on every single decision in the game, whether it was choosing a weapon, going through a door, choosing what boons I was getting from the Greek gods, all dice rolls, and it was, I thought it was funny, just getting betrayed by it, and I nearly escaped on one of the runs with a really janky setup purely by letting the dice get rolled. Woo-hoo! One of these and, days uh, I'm gonna get into Twitch streaming. One of these days, I promise. Hey, believe me, just oh, just I just do it. It's a it's a different experience. It's sort of it's sort of you know, just just doing it and on the hope that someone will just turn up, watch what you're playing, and think, oh, that's cool. Yeah, not quite there yet. But... I actually made on my Twitch stream. I actually made a few friends. Um, I started playing. This is back when Factorio came out. Um. <laughs> I just happened to be live streaming because I was just live streaming whatever I was playing. Got a message on uh, Twitch and ended up playing with two random people from the World Wide Web. I made a server with them and we all played together. And I, yeah. I've sort of lost ties with them, but yes. I've been told I need to tell you this. Um, you, you need a new TV. What did she break on the TV now? Nothing. She sent me a picture of it and it says a lot, so I told her she needs a new one. Yeah. Look behind you. Oh, right, so that is it. So for, from from Terry, Duncan, Stefan, D, Ryan. Roll outro. Uh, all right. Hi. No talking.